Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief at GearLive.com, and today I wanted to talk to you about upping the performance of your PC with the Western Digital Black PCIe SSD. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the new M.2 format, this might look a little ridiculous to you because it looks like a stick of RAM, but this is actually a 256 gigabyte storage drive. Now, I've talked to you about the advantages of SSDs like this one in the past. This is the WD Blue SSD. This is a SATA SSD that plugs into any typical SATA slot. These are solid state drives with no moving parts that are able to read and write data way faster than any spinning hard drive. Now, however, as good as these SSDs are, don't get me wrong, these are great. I mentioned they connect to the SATA port, which was never really intended for flash storage. Flash storage can actually perform much faster than the SATA port allows. But PCIe, on the other hand, this allows for much faster direct access to the flash storage via your motherboard. And that's all thanks to the NVMe interface. So we now have a storage standard that can plug right into a PCIe port, giving you ridiculously fast speeds. And you'll see what I mean as I take you through a couple of tests in just a moment. So the WD Black PCIe SSD is a Gen 3 by four module, and it'll be available in both 256 and 512 gigabyte variants. Now today I wanna to focus on some everyday tasks as well as some enthusiasm Enthusiast tasks. This isn't about eking out every single drop of speed from your computer that you can. So today I'm not talking about overclocking, I'm not talking about water cooling, I'm not talking about paying thousands of dollars for a workstation class gaming PC. Instead, I wanna show you how you can get much faster speed and responsiveness simply by installing this little drive into your computer. By the way, big shout out to Western Digital for sending over the WD Black PCIe SSD for sponsoring this video and for providing a very nice speed upgrade. Now, Western Digital reached out to me and they said that they think they have the best M2 PCIe storage solution for the money. What I wanna do here is compare the speeds of a regular SATA SSD to the speeds of their new WD Black PCIe SSD and then compare that against the speeds of a much more expensive PCIe SSD solution as well, which on paper should have higher specs. So let's take a look at how all three of these perform and see which one provides the best bang for the buck. Now, before I get into those benchmarks, let me tell you about the test system that I'm using. This is the bare bones custom built system rocking a four gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of HyperX RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 950 graphics card. So the only piece of hardware that'll be different in these tests is the storage solution itself. All right, so the first test I did, the super simple test, we've all done this one. This is a simple, cold boot up. So I'm booting up the computer from a powered off state. The computer, by the way, is running Windows 10 Pro. Now the fastest boot up time was from the more expensive PCIe solution, which came in at 20.68 seconds. But the WD Black was 21.09 seconds, about half a second slower. And then the WD Blue SSD clocked in at 27 and a half seconds. So right off the bat, we can see there is a distinct advantage to the PCIe storage over even the already fast WD Blue SSD over the SATA connection. It saved us about six seconds of boot up time. Now the next thing I wanted to do was launch a game. Obviously, if you're into playing computer games, then you're more than likely using a Windows PC. And this is actually one of the main areas where PCIe storage can really help you out by boosting load times. I decided to launch Batman Arkham Knight. I have it here on the desktop and I started timing right from when I double clicked on the launch icon. And once again, the fastest was that third party PCIe solution clocking in at 16.38 seconds. That was from double clicking the icon to getting to the menu where I can make my next selection. The WD Black SSD came in at 17.5 seconds, one and a half seconds slower. And then the WD Blue SSD clocked in at 19 seconds, one and a half seconds slower than the WD Black model. And by the way, just to give you guys an idea of how much faster all three of these are than your typical spinning hard drive, I did test this on a 7200 RPM hard drive as well. And the load time there was about 42 seconds with all the same hardware. So even though that WD Blue SSD is the slowest here in the SSD shootout, it's still over twice as fast as the hard drive I tested. Now the next test is where things got a little interesting. So interesting in fact that I did it twice 
and I got similar results both times. From the title screen, I wanted to jump into the game and get to where the loading screen ended. The loading screen of Batman Arkham Knight will show the same thing regardless of the installed storage. It's the speed at which it shows it and the speed at which the loading sign at the bottom right hand corner of the display disappears. So what I wanted to do was see how long it took from the loading screen to start to when I could actually click on the screen without seeing that loading sign anymore. For that to happen with the WD Black, it took 37.6 seconds, 37 and a half seconds there about. In second place, was the more expensive PCIe solution, which took 43 and a half seconds. Now that's seven seconds slower. And again, that surprised me because it's more expensive. So if you're looking at a spec sheet, you would assume that this one would be much faster than the WD Black PCIe SSD. But in this case, it's not. So I did the test again. WD Black came in at 38 seconds and the third party SSD was 42 seconds. Now comparing those two PCIe models to the WD Blue SSD over the SATA connection, that one took 51 seconds before the loading screen was done. So once again, that was Batman Arkham Knight, but let's jump out of gaming for a second because you might not be a gamer and you might be wondering how this might apply to your everyday life. So I decided to test another area where I'm pretty proficient and that was video editing. So I downloaded a copy of Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. I got it all set up and then I closed it so I can relaunch it without having to go through all that setup process just to see how fast it would go. So launching Adobe Premiere Pro took the third party SSD nine seconds from when I double clicked the icon. The WD Black PCIe SSD took nine and a half seconds and the WD Blue SSD over the SATA connection took 10.5 seconds. Then I wanted to test exporting a video project. I was exporting it directly to the storage that was inside of the computer. And again, the results here were pretty interesting to me. On a two pass native export, the third party PCIe model exported in one minute and 1.5 seconds. WD Black PCIe SSD did one minute and three seconds, which is one and a half seconds slower. The WD Blue SSD took one minute and 12 seconds. Then I wanted to do a 4K single pass export on a one minute video. And here's what I got. The third party PCIe SSD did it in six minutes and 28 seconds, while the WD Black PCIe model did it in six minutes and 31 seconds, a three second difference. The WD Blue SSD clocked in at six minutes and 53 seconds. So it took about 22 seconds more over the WD Black. Now I do have a couple more tests to go over, but the pattern that I'm seeing here so far is that the WD Black SSD is pretty much able to hold its own and in one case even surpass the speeds of what is a much more expensive PCIe solution. Next, I wanted to check on the process of extracting three gigabytes of data from a zip archive. So I started clocking the time after I hit extract and waited until it was done. The third party PCIe storage module came in at 22 seconds. The WD Black PCIe came in at 22 and a half seconds. So a half second longer to extract three gigabytes worth of data. And then the WD Blue SSD came in at 28 seconds. And then finally, I wanted to do something again that's more common that we all do. I closed all the programs and I simply had Windows reboot. So from the moment I hit reboot until I was back at a desktop where I can get back to work is what I clocked. For this one, the fastest was the WD Black PCIe SSD at 47 seconds. Second place was the third party PCIe module at 50.5 seconds. So that one was three and a half seconds slower. And then the WD Blue SSD took one minute and 11 seconds. So those were all the tests that I performed. And as far as what I saw, performance was very, very close between the WD Black PCIe SSD and the more expensive third party version. And this is pretty much what Western Digital told me up front. And in two of the benchmarks, the WD Black actually outperformed a more expensive version. So let's talk about price. The WD Black PCIe SSD will be available in two configurations a 256 gigabyte and a 512 gigabyte variant. We're starting at the 256 gigabyte level. The WD Blue SATA SSD is actually available in 250 gigabytes, not 256, and that sells for $79 and 99 cents. Opting for the WD Black PCIe SSD instead is $109 and 99 cents. So about 30 bucks more for a nice speed and performance boost. And a third party SSD module sells for $129 and 99 cents at that same 256 gigabyte level. Now that's $20 more than the WD Black 
And as you saw in the benchmarks, they're pretty much neck and neck in speed for these common everyday tasks that you use a PC for. But again, that's a 256 gigabyte version. And I think the bigger story is when you compare the 512 gigabyte models. So again, starting with the WD Blue SSD over the SATA connection, they have a 500 gigabyte model and that sells for $139.99. Bumping up to the WD Black PCIe SSD, the price there is $199.99. That's a fantastic price for 512 gigabytes of PCIe storage. Now that third party module for the same amount of storage, 512 gigabytes, is $329.99. Sense. And again, as we saw in the benchmarks, those two PCIe SSDs were in many ways virtually identical. And in a couple places, the Western Digital model handily beat the more expensive version. Sure, they have it, guys. From my perspective, the Western Digital WD Black PCIe SSD is the winner, bringing us the best balance of speed, performance, and value for the dollar. Soon you'll be able to get something much faster than the typical SATA SSD without having to spend the big bucks on some of those higher level PCIe solutions. Now, if you're like me, you probably can't wait to get your hands on these. They were just announced at CES today and they'll be available sometime in the first half of 2017. But now I wanna hear from you guys out there. Let me know what you thought of these tests, if you found anything interesting, and if you think you're someone who could directly benefit from something like a PCI-based storage solution. Drop a comment below as well as any questions you have and I'll meet you down there for further discussion. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to click or tap on my face when it appears here in the video in order to subscribe to stay on top of all future video releases. And go ahead and turn on notifications by tapping on that bell as well and you'll be one of the first to know when new videos and gadget giveaways drop here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards and I'll catch you in the next video.